Hi. How's it going? So growing up, I never really had a steady church that my family went to every Sunday. We would just go sometimes on holidays, or sometimes we would just be like pajamas all day. But when we went, it was always a more of a traditional sing the songs out of a hymn book and draw pictures on the back of the offering envelope because I would be so bored. And because I would become so easily bored during the service, I just never wanted to go. Fast forward until about a year and a half ago. My best friend kept ranting and raving about this new church service we had and how it was so great. And I was like, yeah, whatever. Then a few things happened that seemed to have just rocked my world. I was in a place of confusion and I felt lost. I needed direction and I didn't know where to turn. I tried to pray about it and ask for guidance and I was led here. So what keeps me coming back? Koinonia fulfills me in so many ways that I never thought would be able. When I come into this space, I feel instantly connected to everyone around me. There are hellos and good mornings said without words, hugs without contact, and stories told with just a look. Something I really value about Koinonia is the part of worship when we are able to, as a congregation, voice our joys and concerns that are weighing heavy on our hearts. There is a sense of comfort and acceptance that is felt after voicing your thoughts, as if everyone in that moment is hugging you. There are lots of things that are shared between everyone that in turn builds a great amount of trust. And that's hard to find at any other place. If you didn't catch it earlier, you probably noticed that I'm not a big fan of the hymnals, and we don't have to agree, that's okay. If you are, I accept that. <laughs> But if you had the chance to sit in on a Koinonia service or hear the music at the beginning of each service from out in the courtyard, then you would, get, you would know that the music that is played is a little more contemporary. We don't have a choir, we have a band. We love our drums and our bass and our piano by TR. And let me tell you, I'm so grateful that every person is able to bring a different talent to the table. The music that is played is awakening, fresh, upbeat but there are times when it is soft and heartfelt. Nevertheless, it's always moving. I think that Tom Ryberg does a breathtaking job at selecting the music each week. It always seems so perfect. Leaving service without singing the songs in your head or in your car is uncommon. I don't know what the service would be without the music each week because it is such an important part and it is valued so much. My generation is part of a society that is known to push the limits. We like to wait, hear, the, hear things the way they are. And don't push a, beat around the bush to get to the point. Just tell it how it is. We are a generation that likes to have our opinions heard and not ignored. The great thing is, is that we are blessed to have two amazing pastors who week after week are not afraid to push those limits. They are not afraid to voice some of the thoughts that we all as a congregation are having together. Emily Joy is one of the most powerful people I've ever heard speak, let alone preach. And when I hear, when I say ever, I mean ever. It is so refreshing to see someone get so invested and truly feel what they are talking about. I have heard her talk about things that are considered to be taboo in almost any other setting. And by doing this, she is challenging our ways of thinking that society has already formed for us. There are many situations where we need to be thinking outside of our comfort zone, whether we like it or not, because this world is changing and we can only benefit fr from it by accepting its changes and grow with it. Koinonia has been able to teach me that challenge is difficult, but it is so great. Acceptance is difficult, but it'll be okay. There are so many things we can benefit by pushing the limits. Speaking as a college student that comes from Western Michigan University, I know that I am exposed to many different cultures from around the world and even around the country. Different opinions, different morals, different values, different things we love and hate. But what we need to learn is that differences shouldn't hold us back from learning more about one another. To appreciate the different things that we all bring to this world. It is great to see that diversity this world has is always accepted here. And when someone asks me what denomination my church is, 
I always respond saying UCC. But no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're accepted here. It makes me so proud to know that this church has enough love to share and I can call it my church. <laughs>